Microsoft promises teleportation, Google gives us superpowers, and Zero makes its biggest acquisition yet. My name is Tommy and this is The Tech Files. Hit subscribe or follow for all the big stories in tech each week. Thanks to our sponsors, Lead Express, guaranteeing ROI for your next B2B campaign. I know you're busy, let's dive in. Microsoft has lifted the lid on Microsoft Mesh, their holographic vision for the future of communications. Utilizing Microsoft's HoloLens AR glasses, users can dial into calls and have colleagues, family, friends, tutors, doctors, you name it, join them. The end game, however, is to have people appear live as themselves in hologram form via holoportation. I'm hoping it's more than vaporware. Classic case of big tech marketing department has created the fantasy the devs can't code up to. Fingers crossed. Canada will invest $2.75 billion to electrify the country's bus fleet over the next five years. So far, the government has purchased 300 eco-friendly buses with a five-year target of 5,000 more vehicles. This is likely to benefit domestic bus makers like Green Power, New Flyer and Nova Bus, owned by Volvo, which in turn is owned by China's Geely. And meanwhile, Australia is still debating incentives for electric cars. Might be time to take note, Canberra. Google's latest project, Wolverine, is looking to give us superhuman hearing. The technology being developed by Google's XLab, which is responsible for Waymo and Loom, is in its early stages and aims to isolate people's voices in a crowded room and make it easier to focus on one person during overlapping conversations. As if these guys aren't listening enough already. Square announced a $279 million deal for a majority stake in Tidal, the global music and entertainment platform that brings fans and artists together through exclusive music, content and experiences. While the rationale for the deal is not immediately obvious, Square could enable Tidal artists and musicians to sell merchandise powered by Square e-commerce, increasing both the engagement and reach of both platforms. And in a generous dose of star power, shareholder of Tidal, Jay-Z, is joining Square's board. Kiwi-born cloud accounting giant Xero has made its largest acquisition to date, acquiring European workforce management platform Plan Day for 183 million quid. With more than 350,000 employee users across Europe and the UK, Plan Day simplifies employee scheduling, allowing businesses to forecast and manage their costs. This move aligns with Xero's strategy of becoming the operating system for small business and will expand Plan Day into markets where Xero currently operates. That's a wrap for this week. Congratulations to Pat Langton for taking out this week's wide subscription. Tag a mate to enter and don't forget to subscribe or follow for updates. Big thanks to Granite Bay Capital for their insights. You can catch their substack below. And our sponsor, Lead Express, who can guarantee the results of your next B2B campaign. Their email is right here, so find out what ROI you can lock in for 2021. My name is Tommy McCubbin and you can find me on futuresandwich.com, LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram and TikTok. This has been The Tech Files. We'll see you next week.